If you design anything in this program and you're not quite sure whether the font, the color or the overall layout is right, well, all you need to do is to go to design right there and it will create numerous variations of your entire design as you go through it. Everything changes, but the content remains the same. Isn't that pretty cool? And not just that, let's say you like a type. Let's say you like this one. You can just shuffle through different colors. You can click on this and it shuffles through different colors. Not just that. If you want to apply your brand colors, your logo and everything, just click on this button. It applies your logo, your brand colors, and you can shuffle through your brand colors. It's not just that. You can go to colors and explore more of your brand colors. You can shuffle through them as well. Logo is still there. Or you can explore more colors and we are just scratching the surface. In this video, we will explore 22 features that make Adobe Express an incredible tool both as a part of your professional workflow and also to create content fast, easy and free. Yes, the free features are more than enough to create a well-finished product. And if you are a Creative Cloud member, the premium features are already included in your package. Yes, you heard that right. So why not take advantage of it? It's on the web so you don't really have to install it and have a look, it's insanely simple to use. The left hand side is for adding stuff like templates, text, design assets, backgrounds and the right hand side is for editing stuff like adding animations, resizing, changing the design layout. That's all there is to it. So let's say you wanted to add a background, you would go to the left hand side because that is for adding stuff and have a look how beautifully everything is categorized. Let's go with nature. Even inside of that, things are categorized. Even inside of nature, let's go with stones because that's what we want. Let's scroll down and let's go with something like this. This is not even premium. Have a look at it. Most of them are actually free. Now we need to make the background stand out, right? So the right hand side is for editing stuff. So let's enhance it by turning on enhancement and just decrease the brightness. That's all. The subject is standing out. Let's say you wanted to add some shapes. You would go to design assets, click on it, adjust the size. You can also change the sequence of it. Just put it under the subject. There you go. And as we learned, if we wanted to edit anything, it's on the right hand side. So right now the text is selected. Let's turn on the shadow. Let's turn on the outline. And there you go. The text is now standing out as well. Now let's get straight to the features that you must not miss. Everything is incredibly responsive. Let's say you designed an Instagram story, which is nine by 16 aspect ratio. And you want to turn it into square. Instagram post to one is to one aspect ratio. So all you need to do is to go to resize and click on that and it automatically resizes. If we were to do it manually, we would have to manually adjust the image size, the font size, and the background as well, and it would take a hell lot of time. But here, you can just click on the format you want, and it automatically resizes. Now, the good news is, although Adobe Express has most social media and print sizes, as you can see right here, you can also click on custom and choose whatever size you want. Now, you don't have to browse through dozens of websites or open a lot of applications to do simple tasks such as resizing an image, converting to GIF, converting to MP4, generating a QR code, editing a PDF file, none of that. You can do all of it in Just Express. So let's say you want to convert a video to GIF. Click on that and let's drag and drop in our video right here and choose the file size. You can also trim it from right here. Pretty cool. And once you're ready, you can also choose the size from here and click on download. It's uploading right now. Now it's done. Simply click on download. It will process. We have chosen the medium size and have a look. It's just 2.77 MV. And if you click on it, it will just keep on looping. By the way, we had created a video about it on the new restoration filter in Photoshop and that you can watch right here after watching this video. Sometimes we are just confused about what font to use, right? No worries, Adobe Express to the rescue. Select the text and there is something called font recommendations. Yes, you saw that right. Now, if you don't like any four of these, just click on explore more. Now, the great part about it is that, have a look, all of the previews are shown in the same font color that we have chosen and in the same background that we have created. Now, let's say you like this one and you want to see fonts similar to this. You can click on this button, which is more like this, and you would see fonts similar to that. Now, inside of that, let's go with the second one and have a look. Here, we have the perfect font. Now, it is not just limited to that because we are also always confused about what color to use, right? So, you can click on right here and have a look. You have these suggested colors exclusively for this design. You also have all of the colors from the current design color palette. So, let's go with this one or this one. You can choose whatever you like. I think black is perfect. On top of it, you can turn on shadows if you like. And there you have a hint of yellow to it. Looks good. We have already discussed it in the beginning of the video. You can create variations of your entire design by clicking on design and just by going through it. 
the content remains the same. Let's say you like this and you want to shuffle through the colors, just click on shuffle. <laughs> there you go. Now, of course, you can directly post to social media with Express by simply clicking on share and clicking on publish. But here's the great part. You can also click on schedule and there's a complete content scheduling app. You can choose which platforms you want to share to. Of course, you need to connect them. So let's say I want to share to Twitter and LinkedIn and maybe Instagram. And then you can type in the captions, type in the first comment if that's applicable and choose the date and the time as well. Let's go with September 29 and click on schedule. Now have a look at it. You have your entire calendar of what's going to be posted when. So let's say I wanted to post something on 4th of October. I can do it directly from here. Click on new post and you can choose your media, choose your caption, choose your social media platforms and choose your time and it would be done. So there's no need of a different scheduling app. It can all be done with Express. If you want to change the entire color palette of your design without having to click on the text, choose a different color, click on the background, choose a different color, click on different elements for different colors. You don't have to do any of that. All you need to do is to go to colors right here. You can shuffle through the existing colors of the design. You can apply your brand colors, see what works best for your image. You can also apply all of these color palettes that come with Express. Have a look. The bold color palette, the classic color palette. Now, of course, you can shuffle through all of these colors and the best part is you can search for color palettes as well. By the way, you can click on view all to view more bold color palettes. Let's say the noodles are Chinese. We're going to search for Chinese. Let's see what color themes come up. There you go. We need the colors to look like it's straight out of a Chinese restaurant. Have a look at it. This works wonderfully. Have a look at this color straight out of Shanghai. Pretty amazing. Very good for a Chinese restaurant. Now, Photoshop and Adobe Express don't have to work separately. They can work seamlessly together. Have a look at this project. So here we have the original image. We have removed the subject. We have just the background right here. On top, we have separated the subject. All we need to do is to go to libraries. You can also go to window and then open up the libraries from here. So I've created a library called Express and I'm just going to upload these layers separately. So the background with subject removed and here's the subject. Now let's open them up in Express. Let's say you want to create an animated Instagram post out of it. We would go to libraries right here and there you go. We have our photos. So let's click on this one. Let's make it larger. We would make it a little more larger so that we can add some animations. This is okay. On top of that, we want this one a little larger than usual. Now before we add the animation, let's add some text behind the subject. So let's go with this one, which is the designer podcast. Now let's make it larger just like this. And now you can place this layer behind the subject. So cool, isn't it? So let's make it so that it's slightly visible and select the subject, place it a little downwards so that we can see what's happening and place this text a little downwards. So click on ungroup and we're going to choose this text right there, place it right here and on top of the subject, right here. There we go. And we want the color to be white. Now to add the animation, just go to animation right here. You can add a photo animation like zooming in and have a look at it. So cool, isn't it? You can also add a panning animation if you wish. Even this looks great. And also a text animation. It's all up to you. See how we took it from Photoshop to creating a post for Instagram so it can work seamlessly as a workflow. This is one of those features that is absolutely free in Adobe Express and works incredibly as it uses Photoshop's technology for removing the background as opposed to many other websites where it can be a premium feature or it can charge by image per credit which can get really expensive. So just bring in your photo or you can also do it separately. Adjust the image size and click on remove background. Have a look at it. It has done a tremendously amazing job considering that the original background was black and so was the hair. And there are so many dark areas that match up so much with that of the background. Even then, it has done a pretty amazing job. On top of it, you have the option to adjust it as well. So let's say you wanted to add or subtract. You can just paint in to add or subtract. Right now we subtracted. You can also restore, which is adding stuff and that adds that. So it is customizable unlike many other online options. Let's click on done and now you can adjust the size according to your preference. Of course, you can do some filters here as well. So we're going to go with color wise and that kind of works well. You can also shuffle through them or lighten. That also works. Believe it or not, Adobe Express also has a mobile application that's going to help you keep creating on the go. Now with Adobe Express, you get something that can otherwise be really expensive and that is access to Adobe Stock. Now, if you're a Creative Cloud member or if you have subscription to Adobe Express, which is also very affordable, you have access to all of Adobe Stock's standard content. Have a look at it. So if I search for Vintage Mic right here, have a look, we have 13,000 results. If I go to Adobe Stock and search for the same Vintage Mic, and also we want to make sure that we are only looking for photos 
and standard content right here. Have a look how many results. 13,000 results. See, we are getting all of it. If you were to get the same thing from Adobe Stock, you would have to pay per image and it could get really, really expensive. So right here, it's all unlimited. Yes, you heard that right. So let's go ahead and remove the background and we want to apply a duotone color to it or just colorize it. So let's click on filter and let's colorize with the designs color. You can also shuffle, see what works best for you. But have a look. You have access to Adobe Stock. Also, if you're using it for free, you have a great collection of images as well. Now, as we have discussed before, the layer stacking UI is very easy to use. So let's say you want the subject to be behind the text. We can easily do that by just bringing the subject under the text. That's all. If you want this text to be behind as well, so you can just bring it under the subject. Or if you want the subject to be above the text, that's also possible. So Everything is so easy to stack up and arrange. Now, one of the biggest advantages of working with Adobe programs is that it works so well with the entire Adobe ecosystem. So let's say you wanna choose a font for this one. Yes, you have access to professional Adobe fonts from right here. Now, I would usually go to the font recommendation and choose something from here. Let's go with this one. And if you're using it for free, of course, you have more than enough Adobe fonts to work with. And if you're a premium member or a Creative Cloud member, and this is already a part of your package, why not use it? You have over 20,000 licensed Adobe fonts. You have an amazing collection of design elements, which include textures, lens flares, brush strokes, everything. So let's check out some effects. Let's go with this one. And it already comes applied with a blend mode. Have a look, multiply. By the way, you can change it if you wish. Let's make it larger and put it in the background. So we're gonna put it beneath everything, just above the background color. And there you go. Similarly, you can also apply some lens flare as well. Have a look, there's an entire group for it. So you can click on more, see what you like. There you go. It's taking a little while to load but there are some very interesting ones. Let's go with this one. This is an album about reflections and it just complements the design so well. With Adobe Express, you have certain applications already included. So if you scroll down right here, you would notice you have Premiere Rush. So if you want to do a little more quick and easy video editing, you can click on this button that will launch the desktop app, or you can also install the iOS or the Android app as well. By the way, you also have access to Photoshop Express if you want to do a little more photo editing. By the way, Premiere Rush is superbly easy to use. Have a look, that's Karen X Cheng, isn't it? I wonder when will the day come when Adobe will have one of my photos in the opening splash screen, but I'm not sure it's gonna happen. Let's sign a petition for it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's very easy to color grade, add animations. It's a super simplified version of Premiere Pro. So you have these presets as well. You can control the intensity of these presets. You can also go to edit and just edit the exposure, the contrast, the highlights, the shadows, it's all there. You have your titles that you can add. So let's go with, there's a lot of them actually. So let's go with this one. We're gonna bring it right here. And there, my friend, you have your animation. Let's play it. Cool. You can edit the shape, you can edit the text, the usual. The great thing about filters and Express is that they have a shuffle feature. So let's select this image right here. You can turn on the filters. It is not just select the filter and finish right there. You have different properties for one filter. So if we choose duotone, we have the option to choose what duotone we want. You can also shuffle between the two colors. That's possible. You have grayscale right here. You have darken right here. And for darken, you can go through different settings by shuffling. You can also choose contrast. You can go through different ones. I like this one. It makes the food a little more tasty. Now, here's an interesting part. If you go to colorize, it colorizes the image according to the color palette of the design. So if I go through it, Right now it's orange, yellow, blue, orange, yellow. These are the colors, right? So if we go to colors, have a look. These are the colors of the color palette. So let's search for food. And if we go for a different color palette, have a look, the colorization would be different. So this is the one. And if we select the image again, and we go to colorize right here, it takes us through the color palette of our existing design. All right, so this is a big one. This really is a big one. So if you go to download, yes, you have the option to export it as a PNG with a transparent background. And here's the great part. It's a free feature. I think in Canva, it's a premium feature to export with transparent backgrounds. But anyway, you can just start download and take a look. This is with transparent background. And to make sure it is, let's open that in Photoshop as well. There you go transparent background. This feature automatically resizes the text to align, so you don't have to do anything manually. So let's say you have this text right there. You can just click on right here and choose magic alignment. Now inside of that, let's go with the first one 
and whatever you type. Let's type in open and on the other line, house. Now, as I type in house, have a look. The text is being resized to make sure everything falls into the line. So if I add another E to the house, see it gets smaller to line everything up properly. So there you go. On top of that, you have other features here like this one and this one as well. You have grid as well if you want that style. So magic alignment by far is one of my favorite text alignment tools. They really need to have this feature in Photoshop. Now, if you choose an image like a background like we have right here, no matter how much you try to rotate it, even if the image is all zoomed out, it will always try to adjust the size to fill the entire canvas. You have a selection of high quality backgrounds which are diverse, you have patterns, you have paint, you have textures, everything that you can imagine. Now have a look, here in this original background we have a filter applied which is the multiply filter and if we choose a different background, if we replace it, see, the filter is still intact. This feature is huge. You can set up your brand right here, you can set the brand colors, brand logo, brand fonts, and apply it throughout all of the designs. I've already created two copies, I don't know why. So you can click on create a brand, you can upload your logo, let's go with this one. You can pick your colors, so I'm gonna go with CD201F, and then let's save it. You can choose your font. For now, let's go with Proxima Nova Black. We can always change this later. It gives you a general preview of how your designs are gonna look like. Click on next. Let's name it Piximperfect New. Create my brand. You can add more colors right here. You can add more fonts right here. You can add different versions of your logo. So I can add the transparent white version, transparent black version. That's all up to you. Let's add that. You can also change the look and feel of your projects and create your entire brand. So if you wanted to apply your brand right here, you would go to design and just click on this. By the way, you can choose what brand you want to apply. So we can choose switch brand, Piximperfect new. So now we can click on this button. And there you go. All of Piximperfect's fonts and even the logo is applied. You can shuffle through different Piximperfect colors. You can even go to color right here and apply Piximperfect colors from here. So simple. You can create an Instagram story or a reel with it. You have text animations, you have photo animations. First of all, let's resize this. Perfect resizing. And then let's go to animation. We can just animate the text right here. Or you can also animate the image. That wasn't pretty cool. I think we're gonna go with this one. Let's say you've taken pictures of a lot of notes from a notebook and you wanna combine it into a PDF, you can do it easily with Express. Just click on Combine Files and have a look at it. You can combine JPEG files, PNG files, Excel documents as well as one PDF. And it's not just limited to that. You can also organize the pages of that as well. Let's say you have a PDF and you wanna organize those pages or you wanna upload and organize everything is possible. And how can I forget? This is just one of those features that that just makes Adobe Adobe. Have a look at it. You can create a web page right here with your images and your text. You can add a title, you can have your image right here and then host it. So let's add a basic photo right here. And you can go to plus, you can add a photo grid. And inside of the photo grid, we can just bring in different photos. I'm just creating some random stuff just to show you that we can host it as well. Let's click on save. So here we have a photo grid, here we have an image. We can add a title right here, we can add a subtitle, we can add a photo from right here. Let's go with this one, this is the background photo. Let's type in keep creating and we can easily host and share it by clicking on share, publish and share link and you can create a link from right here. You have your own web page. wow, you had your logo as well. Everything you wanted to do is right here. You can keep on scrolling, have a look, it's so smooth, so quick to load at your disposal. Adobe Express all in all has everything you need in just one place. Whether you want to design something, whether you want to generate a QR code, create a PDF file, or even schedule your social media posts and so many other things that we discussed and even more. Most importantly, it's incredibly easy to use and the free features are more than enough to create content. If you're watching this channel, many of you are Creative Cloud members and all of these premium features are already available for you to just play with. So why not are you using it? So click the link in the description to just log in and get started. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other feature tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. <laughs>